What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome back today to another League and Team of the Season play review. And this time around we are taking a look at Riyad Boudaboo's placed on Montpellier in League 1, of course. And he's a player that I think a lot of people have overlooked in this Team of the Season. And looks like a very, very tasty card. So as always, if you do enjoy this review, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave feedback. Let me know who you want to see me review next in that comment section down below. But we're going to kick the review off now with the basic information for... First and foremost, Budaboos is standing at 5 foot and 10 inches tall. He's got medium to low work rate and double 4 star, 4 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. Looking at his base card and top 5 in games, 90 rated cam. He comes with 85 pace, 92 dribbling, 91 shooting, 93 passing, 80 physical and 45 defending. And his top 5 in game stats, 99 penalties, 96 crossing, 95 short passing and then 94 dribbling and shot power. Comes with 3 traits and specialities, those are Flair, technical dribbler, and he takes finesse style free kicks. And looking at the team that we used to mean, it's a 4 3 1 2 setup. We got him with a strong link in to his teammate Ninga, and also Falco up top there. I know he's off Kemp, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. 7 or 8 Kemp performs absolutely fine for me. But getting back to Budaboos in the five games that we played with this team, he came away with five goals and three assists. So a well rounded contribution. Perhaps people might expect a little bit better, but like I so, said, well rounded at the very least. As we start to roll the clips of Budaboos in action now, like I've already mentioned, 90 rated Cam is very, very highly rated. Is a card that I think will be overlooked for the fact that he's not in a cup, one of the, what I consider the two major clubs in France, obviously PSG and Monaco being there, so you could almost make it three if you throw Leon in there as well. So a little bit overlooked perhaps, and he's got some very, very nice stats. He's very well rounded for a Cam, good pace at Cam as well, so he has got a lot to offer, but... There's a couple of things that I felt weren't quite right with this card. At times, he felt a little bit sluggish. It wasn't something it was... He didn't always feel slow, but a few times he struggled to exit skill and move smoothly. And uh, he just couldn't get going in terms of pace. He also was a bit inconsistent in front of goal with his finishing. He missed a few chances that I would expect most, pay, most people to take take particularly a 90 rated uh, player with the shooting stats that he's got and also his work rate's been medium low aren't ideal I like my cam in this formation especially the 4 3 one, 2 to be breaking the uh, defensive line acting as almost like a third striker and for me Budaboos did not do that often enough but talking positives he's got some very nice technical stats his passing is fantastic his weak foot when he does get his shooting right is great on either foot very very good weak foot Dribbling as well is decent. I've said he feels a bit sluggish when he's exiting the skill moves, but when it comes down to just standard dribbling, left trigger, right trigger, and no touch dribbling, he, he's very, very adept at that. And his strength as well, he's not got fantastic strength, but I think because of the fact that he's not particularly small and he's got semi-decent strength, he isn't the easiest to push off the ball. I'm going to be giving Budaboos an 8.7 out of 10 for this card. He's a very, very nice card. I think it's the kind of player that if you can get the most out of him, perhaps adding a different chemistry style or something like that, he's currently going for less than 100k, you have got a very, very nice card in your hands. Because like I said, technically, he has got some fantastic, fantastic stats. The only things that really let him down were the fact that at times he felt a bit sluggish and that inconsistent finishing, which could have just been me having a little bit of bad luck in that session. But he's a very technically gifted card. He can produce bits of magic, great free kicks, great corners and a decent long shot as well. But it's just whether you can get that extra 10 percent out of him that I couldn't quite manage. But that is going to end up the play review. Lads, like I say, leave a comment section down below, especially if you've used Boodaboos, how you got on with him. I'll be really interested to hear that. I'll speak to all in tomorrow's video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Need you out.